Most of us are good and honest. We don't need the services of a lawyer. And in your life, you may never need a doctor or a lawyer. But every day, once I left on particular breakfast, you're feeding me. Three times a day, you need the services of a farmer. So if the farmer is the most important, do they have the tools? You know, ever since agriculture got devolved to the county, it has taken the counties quite some time. The first five years, they didn't even know what was happening. Now it's when they're with it, and now you're seeing extension happening on the ground. But now they need these tools, and that's why you're here. These tools to ensure you impart good extension so the farmer has the correct tools that they need, the information to grow so that we're getting the maximum yields. It's not the 10 to 20 tons. We're there now getting the world average or even surpassing the world average. Where for sorghum, we should be getting what, 40 tons? 40, yeah, 40 tons, not the 8 to 10. Yeah? We have the good varieties, we have good soils, we have water. Why are we not maximizing our production and productivity? We also still want to cascade that training down to a third uh, tire, whereby we are going to train our lead farmers. Each group of farmers, when they are trained, there is always this one farmer who is, uh, who is ahead of the others. We call them innovators. So we are also going to have a special training for those lead farmers so that because we know our extension uh, officers, the numbers keep dwindling down as they age and as they retire, these lead farmers will still have the teams to be able to take through the group, the group, the group members. So we believe uh, after we train all these people, whereby we were having the challenge of raw adoption, because that was one of the issues that we realized, we will now have the farmers uh, increasing the, the percentage adoption will go up. Because they have been trained on the teams, they, they also have access to capital or credit. They received some funds from the county, that is from a project called Navage. Then they, they, they planted some beans. They were planting at a spacing of 50 by 10 centimeters. Though the weather was not really favorable for them, but the harvest, the, the yields were good. They got above 80 bucks from one acre. And uh, most of them have now animals. They, they bought some animals, daily, daily animals they are milking. Those who never had uh, iron sheet houses, they have now built just from the sale of those beans. Niltoku ni asaba, ni kazi uza ni anikalipia watoto wangu school fees. One buck, ni gachukua ikawa ya chakula. Five bucks, ni kazi uza, ni kapata 30,000. Ni kanunua ngombe ya maziwa. Maziwa na kamua asubui na peleka sokoni. Ingine na kupikia chai, ingine na uza. Hii yenye nauza kila mwezi napata shilingi elfu ine. Wana hii nguo nilinunua, nilinunua ye shilingi elfu moja kwa mwezi ya kwanza yenye nilipata haya pesa. Maitaji yote kwa nyumba. Hata mzee saizi, yeye ikifika tu saa mbili, amekunywa chai, anachukua fimbo na kukatia hiyo ngombe yetu nyasi anailisha sasa amepata kasi hata hawezi enda kuleo vile alikuwa anaenda kuleo akitoka huko anakuja kunikombanisha uh, most of the farmers who are growing the improved varieties are the ones who have been trained and then the largest number of those who grow nyota and the mangaza are the beneficiaries of the NARIC project through the groups those who are funded groups funded by NARIC project in fact, those are the ones getting the highest yields, six bags up to eight bags an acre.